Hey guys, what is going on? Today I have yet another smartphone for you guys, the Blackview A60. So let's take a look at the specs real quick. So we are rocking the MediaTek 6580, 13 megapixel camera, which I'm pretty eager to try out. 1 gig of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, a 6.88 inch display, um, just below 720p, just below, and Android Go Edition, which is Oreo. And a nice uh, 4060 mAh battery. And before you guys start judging this phone, I was able to pick this up for $45. That's right, $45 for this. And this is one of those like bezel-less displays with the, with the teardrop notch. So, so let's see what we get for that price. And as it is sealed here nicely. And the box is a little messed up, but that happens sometimes. Alright, so the phone is presented here at the top. And we do have a nice silicone case, which I haven't seen in the latest phones that I got. Let's put this aside. And let's see, anything interesting in the box. We have a tempered glass screen protector. And wipes for that. A manual. Uh, this is the charging brick and a cable and this is micro USB of course and this is the phone itself and the problem with this, yep, I almost took the back case off okay alright, first impressions this phone is a bit hefty it does you do notice that weight most I mean I bet it's because of the battery because this is a plastic phone after all and you can do this though and this is only with the black version, like there's a purple version I think that doesn't have these things, lines alright let's pop the back off cause I know we gotta okay so it is protected by this middle casing so I guess this is a big battery, black view didn't want people messing with it so we're gonna leave it like that so I guess there's no tab to put off the battery this time around. Let's power it on. Okay, now the chin is pretty big. Wait, hold on. So this is the Doogee Y8. So the chins are... I think the Doogee is slightly smaller. Or it's exactly the same, but... The chin is slight... Is I mean... It's there, but I mean, it doesn't, you don't notice it, like when you're holding it up close. When you're holding the phone up close, you don't really notice it all that much. Alright, so I'm going to set this up and get back to you. Okay, so this is the phone booted up, and I installed a few apps that we're going to test right now. And this is the Go edition, so, so we have Google Go, YouTube Go, Gmail Go, Assistant Go, Maps Go. Now... I really never got the point of this go, but that's this is how it is. So, so first impressions, we do have a. They managed to fit a notification LED right up here. And look at that slim bezel. They managed to fit it right over here, and I'm pretty impressed by that. So, phone performance. So the phone is pretty slow, like, we only have a gig of RAM and a MediaTek 6580, which is MediaTek's, it's their, their least powerful CPU. But for $45, the performance is pretty good, and for the specs. So, so that's the first time ever opening settings, so it's not that slow. It's manageable. So, let's go to about phone app running memory, one GB and I have an idea let's let's try and um and make the, the animations faster actually and it is pretty responsive I guess all right so let's see if we make the animation 0 0.5 
Well, what do you know? And this is all right. Keep cleaning. Let's do a quick speed test right now. Let's play store. Okay. Uh, settings. Contacts. Okay, it's Google Contacts of so Chrome. This is the first time opening Chrome, so yeah, we're gonna get that. You know what? That is really not that bad at all. Alright, so that is the speed of the phone more or less. We're gonna try and let's try knife it, my favorite game to test phones. So now viewing full screen, got it. Now the screen, the screen itself, it looks, it it's not the best screen I've seen for in these budget phones, but it's definitely, it's definitely good. It is manageable. It's not, it's very close to 720p, so right below 720p, and this phone is pretty, and the screen is, I mean, for $45, I would say the screen is excellent. Okay, so I would say, yep, that is very good. I've had phones in the past with more RAM than this, and we, and they couldn't even manage this game. So I'm glad that Blackview was able to to use this to Im implement this chip properly this time around. Yeah, it does not fit the screen properly at all, but that doesn't. We can fix that later. Let's see how it performs. Alright, that is not bad at all. No lag. And these are the type of games you're gonna be playing on this phone. You're not gonna be playing any heavy games, only these arcade games that don't require much resources. And yeah, that, as you can see, it runs pretty well. Let's check full screen. And the speaker is actually located on the back. You can. I think that's enough. So yeah, I would say the speakers are. The speaker is decent. Like I've heard, like the speaker is loud. No, not there isn't too much distortion. So the speaker is definitely manageable. I, w I just wish it wasn't on the back and and at the bottom over here. We all we have is the microphone. Um, but yeah. Alright, let's try the camera now. Okay, let's switch it to the front. Not bad. Let's take the selfie right here. Alright, let's take the pictures outside now. Okay, this is the video quality on the Black VOA 60. This is recording 720p, its highest resolution. And sunny day, and let's try and zoom here. Alright, doesn't zoom much. Alright, okay, this is the front facing camera on the Black VOA 60. The front camera only records 480p of video. And I'm walking around in the shade in the sun. And let me know what you think in the comments.
Okay, and this is the Geekbench score. 419 single score. So yeah, not the best score we've gotten on these budget phones. The... Oh, no. But for the price, I mean, it shouldn't really bother you. And the, it performs pretty decently. And it looks good. Let's go to settings and make sure we haven't missed anything. So you do have your... Your typical settings, nothing special. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We've tested all that's need that needed to be tested. Um, all the all the important things. Now, should you get this phone, if you can get it for the same price I found it, forty-five to fifty dollars, then yes, it is worth it. But any more expensive than that, it is not worth it. There are plenty, there are thousands of budget phones that are better at around 60 to 80 dollars. So, and I have more of them on the way, like I have a few more on the way that are similar to this but are higher spec. So, stay tuned for that. Um, thank you for watching, guys. And again, only if you can find it for around 45 to 50 dollars, I would get this. Um, cause that's all it's really worth. Even though the design is cool and it's Android 8.1 Go, I would still not get it for more than $50. If it's, if you see it for 60 not worth it in my opinion. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Cause I have more phones on the way that you will want to see. So peace out.